Welcome to the Hot Wheels Legends Tour. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode. I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, this week we touch on the Hot Wheels Legends Tour, the ongoing tour. Um, it's basically the Hot Wheels car show that they take from uh, big Walmarts to big Walmarts. Uh, and they have about, I think, 10 or 11 stops during the course of the year. I did post the, the Legends to a, a schedule last week. I'll do so again in the description below. You can just follow the link uh, and see, obviously, if you're US-based, uh, whether or not there's a tour stop near you. Uh, it's always a chance to pick up the Legends to exclusives um, directly from the show. That's, that's usually the, the best way to get them, although the numbers are limited. Uh, they do only take a certain amount of cars um, or, or exclusive cars to the events um, but you, but they usually show up and, and that's why, why I mentioned last week there's a there's a little hidden away secret um, that I don't think if you haven't been following the Legends Tour for a while uh, or not at all uh, you might not have picked up on this um, it's not really something that you see advertised uh, I, definitely Mattel doesn't um, and I've only seen it sporadically mentioned in the forums before uh, everybody just assumes that if you're into um, Legends Tour cars, you'll, you'll know about it. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll mention that in a, in, in a while, so, so, so stick around for that. Um, I did make um, a video a couple of years ago about my exclusives um, that I got from the from the Legends Tour. Uh, it was the year that they did, I think that was 2020, uh, <clears throat> the year that we were all uh, sidelined a bit. They, they launched a a virtual version of the Legends Tour. So the, the Legends Tour is basically just a, a, a big car show that they that they hold in the parking lot of, of, of Walmart um, and they bring their own uh, like Hot Wheels exclusive but you know full-scale cars the ones that they either based off Hot Wheels or that Hot Wheels are based off of um, and then they it's basically just like a car building competition uh, that that's goes on a little circuit so they, they have contestants people enter their car builds their actual car builds um, and then they there are judges going around they pick the one uh, the couple of winners for the event or they pick the a winner for for that event and then they all go through to like a finale and they and they end up picking an overall winner for the whole tour for that year and then the winner the overall winner of the whole thing uh, gets his or her build made into a Hot Wheel for the following year. That's that's then featured in the in the basic range. I'll I'll post some pictures uh, just of what they look like. Um, there there've been obviously a couple that's been running for for about five five years I think. Um, so most of you would have seen these these Legends Two ex exclusive cars or or the winners at least. Um, they show up in the main lines all the times. They usually have a few recolors as well. So. Um, I think most of you will be familiar with the cars. Um, so that's that's basically it. That's the Legends Tour. Um, where the little the, the, the secret comes in, um, Legends Tour exclusives are where they where they take sort of uh, cars that have achieved uh, super treasure hunts that have that have achieved sort of a legendary status, the ones that were most popular or most sought after. Um, also, tend to, tends to be like in the last. 10 years or so, and I don't think I've seen anything older than that. Uh, although the, the Nissan GTR might be the exception, I think that's older than that I give it credit for. Um, so what they do is for the Legends to exclusive for a specific year, they take one of these legendary uh, super trade giants and they they remake it. They do take exactly the same casting, exactly the same deco, but they do another colorway. So um, the, the the very first one that they did was sort of a a surprise drop nobody nobody knew beforehand that it was going to be connected to the legends so it also didn't have the markings for the legends so on the package uh, was the Datsun bluebird the one where the super treasure was done in red they did that in green uh, for the first year of the legends tour uh, second year was the one that i picked up was the uh, 55 gasser the one they redid in gold the original one was sort of dark blue uh year after that i think they did the chevy 2021 they did the chevy silverado the 83 chevy silverado uh the original one was sort of in a yellowish gold they redid that in pink and that sort of started a pink purple phase that hasn't really stopped um so they did the silverado in pink 
uh, the next year they did the, the, they did the Nissan GTR. Uh, the original was sort of of a sort of a bronze or a burnt orange, uh, with mixing with some white. They did that in I think a purple, if I'm not mistaken. That was yeah, with pink, purple, then back to pink. Uh, the year after that, they did. Um, or was that the, no, that was the, the that was the S2000, that was more purple than, than pink. Um, and then this year, uh, of course, they're doing the, um, uh, uh, the cool combi, uh, which you would have seen, uh, that seems like that's going to be very popular. The other ones, not so much, um, because I think people realize that these aren't really limited editions, even though they have limited numbers of these cars available at the show, they you know, um, I'll, again, when we get to the little little secret, um, you, you'll see what I mean. Um, so th those are the, probably the most sought after ones. Um, and then they have, over the last couple of years, also added uh, other exclusive. The, those mail-in sets that you have, the re retail exclusive mail-ins where you can buy 20 or $25 worth of cars and you mail away for, for, the, um, for the exclusives. Um, they usually include a Zamac version. One of the six or seven cars during the year is usually going to be a Zamac. Um, and what the, they've done the last three years, three, four years, is they have um, they've made the Zamac part of the Legends Tour, where that's one of the cars that you can you can actually go um, into the Walmart where they are holding or where they have the Legends Tour. You could go and buy your your. $20 worth of $25 worth of cars, you come out with the receipt to the Legends Tour, uh, they have tables set up, fall in the queue, and then you can claim your your, your Legends Tour exclusive Zamac. Um, again, I, I think you, you will probably get more chances to get the Zamac ones other than at the shows. Shows are obviously just the first time that you say if you, if you want to be the first to get them, that would be the quickest way to, get, to do it. Um, and then also the last four years, I think they started about the same time. So the first Zamac was that Sunagon, the, the Volkswagen uh, camper van. Uh, second year was the Macho Dodge Power van, I think, uh, also Zamac. And then we had the Mustang, the 302 Boss last year, which was in that when they did the blue and yellow um, livery and then this year with the red livery uh, there's a custom uh, a custom chevy um, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link to the picture um, so that 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 one actually looks pretty pretty nice so that's the four zamax they've done and then they also do a team transport like a walmart and legends to a combination team team transport there's usually like a walmart logo somewhere on the uh, on the deco uh, so first year they did uh, custom Corvette. Second year, uh, same custom Chevy uh, was on was on the back of a hauler. Last year they did the Porsche, the 934, I think. Uh, also sort of in a silver and yellow. That that was kind of quite nice. That's that's pretty sort of after still. And then this year, I'm not sure if we've seen. Um, I, I think we've seen something that might turn out to be the the Legends to a, a team transport set. I'm not sure. I'll just go look for for, for a pick. Um, don't remember off the top of my head what it was. Why why people were thinking that might be the uh, the Legends to exclusive. Unless it escapes me now, but never mind. I'll I'll put, 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 put a link up. Okay. So when you when you were at the at the um, event itself, you could fall into a queue. Um, and there were limited numbers and you can get your exclusive car for that year at the show and you pay your $35 for it or $30 for it um, but there were say, say like 300 available so if you were person number 301 in the, in, in the queue they just go sorry we, that's done for the day uh, when they did the virtual tours in 2020 when we were all sidelined um, they didn't have the live stops at the physical shops um, they did live streaming so so they'd get all the contestants say at, at, at a certain place or all, all contestants would uh, enter the the um, cars via video links and they they would have like a, a host that would run the show and go from segment to segment but then they the judges would all 
uh, be like on a on a, a, a live feed. They wouldn't be actually at the at the event. They'd watch the video clips. They all watch the video clips together, and then they give their feedback. So it was all virtual, um, which meant that they didn't have a way to distribute the cards. So they opened up what they call uh, the um, the Legends Tour uh, vending truck, um, and that was sort of the store for the. Um, uh, I'm just going to open up the site and I'll give you the, the URL. That was sort of the shop for the Legends Tour. Uh, the trick they had was you had to watch the Legends Tour show to, to sort of know when to go, go to the site and buy your car. They, they didn't just list everything outright. They would list stuff and it would be listed as, as out of stock uh, until there was a 10 or 15 minute window that opened during the show and they said, okay, now it's live, go and get your cars and you'd buy for those whatever 300 400 500 cars that were available uh, and you'd try and so, so it was like a it was like an rlc drop basically um so, but you had to the, you had to watch the show for the for the indication or for the trigger and then and then quickly switch to the um, to the on online store and they gave you like i don't remember what it was 10 or 15. it it meant that i had to get up uh, the one that i got actually had had to get through the show um it meant that i had to get up like two in the morning two thirty in the morning to to watch the show and you have to sit through like an hour and a half's worth of, of footage uh just to know when to when to um and they didn't obviously do it first off the, the show would be like 15 minutes in and they and they just suddenly go okay the shop is now live go and get your stuff um so i don't think a lot of people uh, at the time a lot of people did that but what people what's not advertised is that that vending truck is still and then here's a little secret but that vending truck is still active that it's it's still operating so each year since even though they don't do the virtual tours anymore you can still go to the virtual truck when the show is on on the day that the show is on and that year's exclusive will be available for that day at the at the um at the online shop what it also has is it has all of the exclusives of, of the previous years well well not all, all of them but uh, most um so uh, um you can get the cool combi now uh but only on the days that the legends tour is on uh you can still get the chevy silverado there are two bundles still available so you can get one with uh, a t-shirt or a cap and a bandana and uh, and i think a lanyard or a keychain uh, you can also get the honda s2000 still with the keychain uh, and then they have a couple of t-shirts uh, one from last year one from the uh, one from this year and one from last year uh, they don't have the nissan uh, gtrs anymore uh, th they didn't have the yellow or, or the gold 55 gasser for very long and um, that i think s either they didn't make as many of them or they or they sold sold out uh, fairly quickly i'm actually quite surprised that the chevy silverado the square body is still there um and i will be picking up as many of, of, of the cars as i can and we'll feature that in a, in a future video um but yeah just be be warned um the shipping is a bit is a bit expensive it seems like there's about a flat rate of 13 dollars for shipping uh, but they do combine shipping so uh you, you it's, you're limited to one car per order of each uh, so you can pick up one of each and then combine the shipping for those two or three cars that's probably the, the best way to do it uh, and for for the guys that are waiting for the url uh, here's what you do so you open up your browser and you go to uh, the legends tour truck dot square dot site browse to that site and you'll open up and it'll open up this page so you'll see that it's a tangram page um, and, and those are the bundles that are still available. You see that the the cool combi bundle uh, That's just the cool combi and a pin uh, So the bundles aren't that big. Uh, they used to be a, a little bit bigger um, Before but they're also a bit more expensive back then. So they split out the, the clothing part um, Of those bundles just to make the, the individual bundles a little bit bit more uh, bit more Affordable so you see it's it'll say out of stock um, so it'll say that until I think the next stop is on the 15th and then there's one uh, towards the end of June as well. So on those two days, if you log back into this into the, the Legends Tour vending truck, uh, you'll see that it is suddenly in, in stock and available. 
and you'll be able to pick one up. So, yes, for you guys um, hunting the exclusives um, still, you might want to check out you might want to check out the vending truck instead of eBay. Uh, especially for the cool combi, I see the prices um, still still pretty high. Um, they most likely will come down towards the end of the year because um, the more shows there are, the more they'll be available on the secondary market, so the prices will be driven down a bit. Um, you can obviously still pick up the previous year's uh, bundles and exclusives on eBay. Um, there are some local collectors that have some of the exclusive here in South Africa that they're selling. Um, so they, I mean, they're not, it's, it's a cool concept that they take like these legendary um, uh, super treasures and they remake them. But they, they're not what I would call rare, uh, they, they, especially with this where, you, where there's still stock available, you just need to know where to look. Um, they, they tend to not go that far, um, in, in, like price increase wise, uh, it, they don't go overboard. So, so yeah, I mean, use it, don't use it, there's a little insider tip for you. I don't see the vending truck um, being advertised uh, at, uh, at all. Um, and one or two mentions on the forum, like I said, but that, that's about it. So go check it out if that's that's your uh, that's your thing. Um, that's my uh, little community service uh, item for this week. Um, I actually did um, get a package in today with some neat uh, cars, and I'm gonna. I had to resist. I said I'd do the Legends to a video, so I'm, I'm doing that first off. Uh, but next week um, we. Uh, We'll be looking at a couple of other things. Uh, I can give you a little hint. Uh, there's a little hint for, for next week. Um, and there's another little another little hint for next week, same thing. So yeah, we'll have a look at those next time around. Other than that, you guys have a good one. Stay safe, keep well, see you next week. Cheers.